it's kind of taboo. It's not something we talk about openly. Right. They want to feel safe. We just hope and pray that we never have to take that shot. I, I, I ran after him to warn all the people around. He was bleeding here, bleeding in his hand. Anti-Semitic instances have been on the rise globally in recent years, and the United States is no exception. According to Reuters, anti-Semitic attacks worldwide rose 13% in 2018. I'm sick and tired of Jews asking me, is this pre-Nazi Germany? With the increase in anti-Semitism, we decided to head down to Muncie, New York, where those attacks happened. We wanted to know how people were feeling, and more importantly, what those under threat were doing to ensure another attack like this would not happen again. We stopped in Rockland County, New York, to talk to gun shop owner Eric Melanson to get a better understanding. This is a nine millimeter? Nine millimeter, that's a suppressor in the front. Okay. Perfect. And this is a semi-automatic. Holy. There you go. Okay. That's a 6.5 Creed board. Okay, so semi-automatic, that means every time you pull the trigger. One pull of the trigger is one fire of the round, correct. Has there been an uptick of the selling or the sale of uh, weapons for self-defense, and have you seen that in the Jewish community specifically? Has there been any kind of increase? There ha definitely has been an increase. Uh, again, the attack in Muncie seems to have been getting worse. You'd say even before that, though, the guns were already, would you say, commonplace in the Jewish community? There are a lot of people in the Jewish community that do have guns and carry guns. A lot of people that also don't. There's been a huge uptick in uh, concealed carry permits, and there's lawsuits going on in Jersey right now that people are trying to fight to get to gain back the privileges of their Second Amendment. We then made our way to Muncie to talk with local resident and Orthodox Jew, Svi Waldman, about the changing attitudes towards guns in the area. Most of us, especially in the Orthodox community, we tend to lean politically more conservative. So the Second Amendment is, is part of that. Every time another incident happens, I see another spike and uptick in interest. Like especially after that, the other incident in Jersey City it hit us really, really close. It's like 20 miles from here. Guns, it's not in our nature. On the other hand, a lot of people feel there is a need to get guns to protect ourselves. We should apply for, for a permit, and we should go to the range, and we should start training. Listen to me now, please. All guns will be facing downrange, open. Empty. Hands at your side. Get your port. Get ready. We're going to do a basic training, guys. We do group, if you want to say group Jewish training. I'm going to ask you to load your magazines. Then I'm going to ask you to load your firearms. New York state law makes it nearly impossible to carry firearms in places of worship or on the street without an additional permit. Even after training and the potential threat of even more attacks, it remains impossible for people to get these permits. In my view, this thing started for me like a year and a half ago, right after the shooting in Pittsburgh in the Tree of Life synagogue. As it gets closer to home, people are realizing and people are waking up. New York state law allows people who have committed violent crimes to get out on the same day due to what are called cash bail laws. Finish the ammunition. Second Amendment advocacy group 2A NYS are now suing Rockland County. Before the announcement, we went to New York City to talk to Dove Hykend, a former New York assemblyman for over 36 years. Anti-Semitism in the New York area is out of control. And that is based on the FBI, their statistics. That's based on the New York City Police Department, their statistics. And I don't think anybody believes that Jersey City, Muncie, everything else, it's over, it's finished. And I think most people actually feel it's gonna get worse before it gets better. There are people who will hide their Star of David, people who will take off their yarmulke because they're afraid. Hey, because we never had a shooting like this until they came. And if people start the way around, they'll be killing us. And everybody who's standing right here knew that. If they start the way around, they'll be drilling us right now. Look how black people act. We can't do it to them. People kids are scared. People kids are stuck in school. 
After our interview with Dove Hykend back in Muncie, the news conference by 2ANYS has just begun. My name is Eric Melanson. Uh, thank you all for coming out here today. Uh, the reason we did this is that the Second Amendment is regularly under attack, and the regime in the county where the judges can arbitrarily just decide what uh, privileges you can and cannot have, uh, which is against some Supreme Court cases. So we will be staunchly fighting that uh, in the county and hopefully throughout all of New York. I'm not here to change your mind. I want to educate you. You are not going to legislate away bad people. You can make all the laws you want. We live in the United States with the highest per capita rate of people in prison. That's why you should be able to carry a gun, the great equalizer. It's responsibility, okay? There's a cost that, that's involved in this. Hate crimes against Jews are larger than any other culture in the United States. With what happened recently, a lot of people are starting to wake up. Look at the case of the church, where a guy saved the lives of countless people. Shouldn't that have been a message? What are they afraid of? Law-abiding people are not going to use guns for the wrong purposes. Trying to show here is the utmost safety. Some of the gentlemen came uh, after the Pittsburgh shooting. That's over two years ago. At this point. And again, they are still denied a carry permit. Why is that? Um, I think for far too long, Rockland County has been under the shadow of New York City politics. And a lot of people who are pro Second Amendment are kind of scared to speak out. Hopefully, with a large voice, we'll be able to accomplish a lot. See what's out there, see what's on social media, see the hate, and understand the political climate and the polarization that's happening in America. We are going to be starting to fight for our right. There used to be one standard you're an anti-Semite, we call you out. That is not the case in the Democratic Party today. This is part of the problem, that within the Democratic Party, anti-Semitism has been legitimized. They know what's going on, they know what I know and what I see. They don't have the guts because of politics. We gotta take this stuff seriously. Government should not make it impossible for you, for you to express your Second Amendment rights. And that's what's happening in many parts of this country. More and more people are applying for gun permits to have some kind of weapon, at least in their home. Men and women alone, all day long come into this range and ask for help and ask why. Or they believe there's no sense in even applying for a pistol license because they're going to be denied a carry permit. Why can some people have a full unrestricted carry permit and some cannot? You know your history. Right. In 1938, Hitler and age, you register your guns. In 1939, he went around actually collecting guns and telling people it was for their safety. It didn't start with the murder of Jews. It started with Jews being assaulted in the streets. A lot of the rabbis said, don't worry, God will protect us. And of course, eventually, it led to six million Local law enforcement are great. I mean, the Rampo Police Department, they go out of the way to make sure we're safe. But at the end of the day, we cannot have a cop in our back pocket. The Second Amendment guarantees us the right to bear arms. A lot of people, especially deep-seated in the, in the Jewish community, don't want to see repeated. As long as we have that right to bear arms, we are guaranteed it will never happen again.